Y'all, then the worst part came. She go bite me and then go ask me how she doing. Like, bitch, you ain't. Now I really be like, fuck that nigga. My attitude changed. Take a couple sips of the douce. Ain't no ring on my finger anyway. And I missed the dick, but that'll go away. I just gotta stop. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Tierra Beauty. And today, as you can tell by the title, I am back with another story time because you guys love my story time. And today I'll be telling y'all my first time with a girl and how it went and what happened and how it happened, okay? And also, I want to say, I hope you guys out here being safe, carrying your glove, your sanitizer, and your mask because shit is real. People is dying. Even though I don't believe in this shit, but cases is coming. And also, if you new, welcome to my channel. And if you're not new, welcome back to my channel. And if you happen to come across one of my videos, please check it out. And subscribe and be a member of this family because we is with this way. Oh, so anywho, guys, I'm done chit chatting. So let's get into the video. All right, y'all. So this was like around last year. I was working at White Castles, and it was this new girl. Nobody know who she was. She had got transferred from another White Castles to this one. She had walked in and me and my best friend, we were just looking at her. And I was like, who is that? And my best friend was like, I guess that's the new person. So anywho, the other manager was giving her a tour of the White Castles or whatever. And then she came over towards us and I was like, some, hey, my name is Sierra and stuff like that. Because y'all know I'm a friendly person. I like for people to feel welcome. So I introduced myself. My best friend introduced herself. And then I didn't like the vibe she was getting off because she acted like she didn't want to say hey to us. She was like, she was like, hey, my name is C. I'm the new manager. I was like, ah, uh, okay. So then, um, days pass. We'll always be having work together. We'll have like evening and night shifts with each other. And like she'll be running shift. So then I got to know her. She was getting, she was getting to become really, really cool to fuck with and stuff like that. So then um, I started to really feel the vibes and stuff like that. So we'll always be flirting with each other. Um, she always be looking at me. And how I know she's looking at me because I'm looking at her. Period, poo. So, no, days after that, I was getting off. I was working. I was getting off like around uh, 10.30 and she was getting off at 11 o'clock. So before I clocked out, I wrote my number down on a receipt piece of paper and I was like some A ball. No damn why I wanna play A ball. I wanted to play her. You know, I did not want to play A ball. So um when I clocked out, I had to walk past her anyway. So I walked past her from one up in her pocket. She felt that shit. So anyways, I got home. I got in the shower. And by the time I got the shower it was already time for her to go. It was already time for her to clock out and stuff like that. So not as soon as she clocked out, she texted me, but I know she texted me when she got home. So, I'm laying down, watching a movie, and next thing you know, I get a text. She sent me a ball, and we played, I lost, and then she was like, some, I like how you sent me, she was like, I like how you slipped that receipt in my pocket. And I was like, some girl, what? I'm going to put the little screenshot right here, and stuff like that. I was like, yeah, you know, <laughs> So we were just talking and like that, you know, really kicking it off, really vibing, really, really good. So then we went back to work. I seen her. So we just started flirting and stuff like that. So I had asked her, I say, what you doing when you get off? She was like, nothing and stuff like that. I'm like, okay. I ain't asked her yet to come over. So I got to the house and I text her. I was like, come over after work. And she was like, so, okay, send an Addy, drop the location out. So, I dropped my location. She had came over. And the first night she came over, y'all, she brought me chocolate covered strawberries. Ain't that sweet? And um, after that, I she brought chocolate covered strawberries. That was the first night we kissed, too. We was cool, and we ain't do nothing the first night. All we did was kiss. And then, y'all, um, I we both had work the next day, right? So, I'm at work, and then I'm always on window. And when I'm on window... Hella, hella people was always flirting with me. And then she was just like getting jealous and then her feelings. And she go stop what she was doing. She go come over at me. She go say some, um, oh, you cutting up. You really want me to act a fucking fool in this restaurant? I'm like, girl, what? And I was like, some yeah, I got fool, what? 
in my head though, but I wasn't saying that out loud. I was like, girl, what is you talking about? And then she was like, she grabbed me, she was like, don't play with me. I'm like, I wanna play with you. I'm like, so girl, get off of me. So anywho, um, she was she was making me mad that day too. So anywho, um, she ended up moving for Babby because it was just hilarious. And after that, like, after that day, like, like two weeks passed and I was having a get together at my house and I had asked her, did she want to come and stuff like that? So she ended up coming over. She met my family. You know, they liked her. They was like, oh, I know you're a mess with girl. I'm like, mm, she <laughs> so I was like, oh, uh, yeah, you know. So, um, after that, she cool with out with my family. She I'm leaving and stuff like that. So we texting, we be on FaceTime and all that good stuff. So anywho, this day I didn't have work, she had work. And I already knew her what her schedule looked like because I always check the schedule. I don't know creep shit, but <laughs> I just had to know in case she tried to laugh. Y'all, anytime I told her to come see me, she come see me with no hesitation. She like, I, I'll be there. Like, period. That's the type of energy I need all the time. <laughs> For anybody I fuck with. So, she was, um, she was head work and she was getting off like at 12 o'clock. And I was like, some, um, when you get off, come see me. I'm bored and stuff like that. So she was like, I bet. But I know she was gonna go home first to get in the shower and stuff. So she only spent like work. So anywho, um, after she got off, she went home. She came to my house. And then we just sitting on I'm sitting on the bed. When she came in, we hugged, she kissed me or whatever. And then we just laying down. I'm on my phone. So she gonna take my phone trying to play fight with me and stuff like girl nobody want to play fight with really in my head i'm like you want to play fight with me baby they want <laughs> so because um she come out trying to play fight with me i come up like girl nobody want to play fight with you so i end up watching um a movie on my phone so she gonna take my phone and say something um let's watch a movie off my phone i'm like you really know i could put a movie on the tv so when he was um she just really wanted my attention so then so then after that she was like, so stop playing with me. And then she grabbed my, she grabbed my throat. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, studs got the best game. Okay, real shit. No shade, but they got the best game. So, after that, um, we started kissing. And it, she went down on me. But she just ain't go straight down, y'all. She kissed me from my lip going down to my neck down to my titty to the other city down my leg y'all then she came up and then she ate it for like a cool 20 30 minutes y'all she could go for hours if she really wanted to and it was just great so y'all um after that she came back up she kissed me some more and you know i ain't gotta get too detailed because you know how that goes um after she was done she kissed me some more and then we ended up laying down and we she just ain't after we was finished she just ain't just lay down and turn her back she laid down and she cuddled with me the whole night she ain't turn her body she ain't do nothing of that like i like stuff like that when y'all done making love and your partner they lay and put your arm around you and then cuddle with you that's the best feeling like nigga don't turn don't turn your motherfucking hair on me don't turn your motherfucking body on me i don't give no fuck don't do that so it was y'all and she stayed with me the whole day even though she had work at five o'clock so she, she ended up leaving like at 2 3 30 and before she ended up leaving she kissed me on my lips and she ended up leaving which was cool and then after that, we kept on texting. We'd be at work with still be flirting and stuff like that. And she thought she was my girl. Like, she thought she was my man. Like, what? So, um, then y'all, she ended up leaving. Hours and hours away, she just disappeared. But that was the end of my story time. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And make sure you share this video with your mama, your cousin, your sister, your daddy, your brother, your auntie, everybody. And also make sure you follow all my social medias down below in the description. And thank you.
you guys for watching. Bye.